Hello everybody, it's Brenda with Be Balanced Art here. We're going to be doing a string pull today. I already have Dutch Boy White on my canvas and I'm going to be using basically one color but it looks like two. Well, it's one or two, depending on how you look at it. It's two different colors of gold. This is Deco Art 24 Karat Gold. And this one is Craft Smart Gold. So it's both gold, just two different shades of gold, two different brands. I'm hoping that the 24 karat gold gives it a little extra glint, a little glitz and glitter, and I think it'll have more interest having two different golds instead of just one color. This painting was requested in gold. But I thought it would be boring just to have one gold, so I put on the second gold. Get my gloves on and we'll start. I already have my strings cut. I did use a balloon to spread the, the base coat so it wouldn't be too thick. It takes a little bit longer to do it that way but you get a nice thin coat so you don't get the, the base coat pulled up too far along with your string. Did not think it would take me this long to put gloves on, but there you go. Sorry about that. I reuse my gloves so sometimes when they start getting older they stick. All right. I'm going to start in the 24 karat gold. Hopefully this will give it more interest. I think just one color on white might not be that exciting, but I think this might add interest. Hope you're having a really nice day today. So far my day's been nice. Next time, maybe I'll soak my first string first, so you don't have to wait for that, but I want to make sure everybody knows how I do it in case they were curious. I use one of these little styrofoam trays to do it. This is actually the very first time I've ever used the 24 karat gold from Deco Art. I've had it for a long time, but I uh, was trying to use up this older gold first. But there's a huge difference in the two, the two golds. 
When you see them side by side, one almost looks brown. And the 24 karat gold looks very gold. This is one of the slower paintings to do. So I will try to do it quickly. I'm only going to do two flowers instead of three, which is my normal. So it will go a bit faster. sure it's got good contact. If it doesn't have good contact with the canvas, you won't get the tattering the way you want it. Alright, take one hand, place it at the into the canvas, holding the string. Use the other hand to pull. Try to keep it coming to the same spot as you pull. If it moves too much, you'll have too wide a base. couple little spots for my gloves up there. This time, just for the heck of it, because the colors look like they blended, I'm going to mix this string all together because this is an experiment. Um, she wants a much larger painting. I just wanted to see how it would do on a small painting. So this time I'm just going to mix the two together to make it faster for you, and it'll be enough to give me an idea of what it's going to look like on the bigger canvas. maybe make it go faster for you. And this will also let me know if I can do this on the big canvas. This one out a little bit different than the first one. And don't be afraid to use your finger to move your string if you need to. I 
I'd rather not have to, but if I have to to fix something, I will. Alright, let's see what we get with this one. Same thing, I'm going to hold it with my less dominant hand and use it as a guide while I pull with my dominant hand, trying to keep it coming the same spot. Looks like it's going to need a little bit of touch-up. Okay, that's not too bad. All right, give me just a second. You can see the canvas is rather dry. The whole idea of that was to not drag too much white along with it.
right? Now these lumps will smooth out. They won't be here when it dries. Where I did the minor touch-ups. Bring the camera over, get the close-up. There you go. Two gold flowers on white background. I think I will show her this and see if this is indeed the color combination she would like. It didn't come out too bad. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe if you hadn't, and please leave a comment. What did you think of this experiment? Thank you for watching. This is Brenda saying bye-bye.